Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. All right, so tonight we're going to talk about a program called ZenMap. If you've been following, you know, my previous videos um, about how to use NMap, you know, the network um, scanner for finding, you know, um, open ports and services on servers and scanning networks and whatnot. Um, ZenMap, what ZenMap is, is the gr a graphical user interface for nmap so if you nmap you know it's all command line um, zenmap gives you a nice graphical user interface that you can use um, to make it a little easier uh, you know for those that prefer a graphical user interface all right and um before we get started i do want to read my disclaimer all right so as you guys know um all the demonstrations on hacker 101 i i perform these hacks and tests and scans on equipment that I own so I have the permission I don't support any legal activity and you should always have permission before you perform any um, hacking related activity okay all right so um, back to Zen map so um, I'm gonna load up Kali Linux you can load up Kali Ubuntu um, and I'll or Ubuntu and I'll show you how to install um, Zen map it's not installed any longer previously ZenMap came installed on Kali Linux until um, not so long ago they um, no longer have it pre-installed so you got you got to reinstall it so to do that you just need to open up your terminal and um, just go ahead and sudo su because we're going to do an update on the system first I already have it installed but I'm going to walk you through the steps so um, load up Kali Linux or Ubuntu or whatever um, sudo su into root and let's do an apt update okay so we'll do our updates first and then we're going to um, all right now we're going to do apt install zenmap dash kbx all right just like that i'm going to say i already have the latest version installed it's going to ask you do you want to continue hit yes and um, once it's complete, and then all you got to do to start ZenMap, you can do it from the command line. You can go here and search for ZenMap like that, or you can just type in ZenMap dash KBX, and that will open up ZenMap. So this is how you install it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of explain um, the scan profiles. So your target, you know. Like in my example would be my wireless router, um, so 192.168.1.2.4, and um, so that would be my target. And then you know you have to select your profile, your scan. That's called a scan profile, you know. And there are several different scan profiles to choose from. And um, I'm going to explain these. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to explain the most important ones in um, detail for you. So like the intent scan. This is kind of like the aggressive scan that I showed you guys in a previous tutorial. That's going to scan everything. It's going to look for everything. It's going to um, it's going to scan. Um, it's going to do a comprehensive assessment of the target. It's going to do a port scan of all TCP ports. Um, it's going to do version detection on any software. It's going to do OS detection. It's going to do the script scanning that I uh, mentioned to you guys about. You know the um, NMAP scripting engine. It's going to perform those um, scans. So it is it's a complete test, pretty much equivalent to the aggressive scan that I had um, told told you guys about in a previous video. Now I do want to mention this one flag here, the T dash four. That's a timing. Um, you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, timing it just makes the scan faster or slower depending on what you're doing. Um, but for the intent scan, like I said, that's equivalent to an aggressive scan that's going to get you all the complete details on the target all right so um, let's go to the next scan. let's see we'll do it in uh, so an intent scan plus UDP port so the intent scan does all, um, TCP ports um, but if we want to include UDP um, ports we can do an intent scan and UDP ports are like DNS servers um, use UDP DHCP or Kerberos for authentication uses um, UDP port so um, you can scan for those ports as well all right and the next scan you know is a quick scan that I would like to talk about and that's really equivalent to like the fast scan that I had taught told you guys about in the previous video remember the dash F so this is equivalent to a um, fast scan 
where this is really going to um, scan. Uh, let's see, it scans the top 100 um, most common ports on the fast scan. So it, it's, it's pretty quick. It's not going to scan all um, thousand um, ports like you would in a regular scan. It's only going to scan um, the most common 100 ports. Okay, so um, let's see. Next scan I'm going to talk about will be the ping scan. A ping scan is just going to send a, a packet uh, to, to the um, target to see if it responds. It gets a ping response to let you know if the target is, you know, alive, online, whatnot. Okay, and then um, we'll talk about, you know, the regular scan. That's going to scan um, just everything. It's going to scan um, everything. Um, oh, all 1,000. It's going to scan 1,000 ports. Uh, most common 1,000 ports, and it's going to, um, you know, give you. It's going to give you. Um, it's going to give you a little faster speed, but it's also going to give you a co comprehensive um, port scan with the most common 1,000 ports, and it's going to give you that version detection that would tell you what is the version of the software that's running on these services with the open ports. So that's what the regular scan is. And then the last one I'm going to mention is going to be the slow comprehensive scan. All right, this has a lot of different flags. I'm not going to try to explain all of those um, to you. Um, but what I will tell you is this is, um, it scans all ports, 65,000 ports, um, known ports available. It does version detection. It does OS detection. It does script scanning. You know, it does um, trace route, like, you know, like the, um, the intent scan, the first one we talked about, or the aggressive scan. It's going to give you all that extra detail. However, it's going to run a little slower. That way it helps you to avoid being detected from like intrusion detection systems and whatnot. So, I mean, these scans are, you know, this is, if you're using ZenMap, you know, they label them. Um, but these are all similar scans that I was mentioning to you in previous videos. All right, so that is ZenMap. And you can install this in Windows also if you, or if you're someone that likes to use Windows. Um, you can go um, to Google ZenMap download for Windows, install it, and you click on the icon and start. Same thing. Um, yep, that's it. It's pretty, um, pretty much it about ZenMap. I mean, it's easy to install, and I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and share, share um, the videos with your friends on social media. The channel is growing. I appreciate all the support. So um, I'll be back with another video for you guys soon. Thanks.